Before you start working with VDW Rotate instruments, use a preoperative radiograph to estimate the working length and prepare a sufficiently sized access cavity to reveal all root canal orifices. Scout the coronal two-thirds of the canals with an ISO 10C pilot file and then determine working length using an electronic apex locator. Confirm patency and irrigate the canal. Now, transfer the working length with a measuring gauge from the C pilot file, for example, to the VDW Rotate 1504 instrument and set the blue stopper accordingly. Now, begin preparing with the glide path file, VDW Rotate 1504, the first instrument in your VDW Rotate basic sequence and create a reproducible glide path until the working length is reached. Be sure to choose the appropriate torque-controlled electric motor setting according to the VDW Rotate instrument size. These settings are already pre-programmed in your VDW Connect drive motor. Generally, VDW Rotate instruments can be used in both a pecking and brushing motion whilst routinely irrigating the canal. When using a pecking motion, advance the instrument in two to three gentle amplitudes, approximately one to three millimeters in and out of the canal. For a brushing motion, insert the rotating instrument into the root canal without touching the canal walls. Whilst keeping the instrument in the canal, Exert gentle pressure and allow the instrument to touch the canal wall, making small, outward stroking or brushing movements over one to three millimeters in a coronal direction. Allow the instrument to move apically for one to three millimeters and then repeat the stroking or brushing movements. Gradually advance towards the apex with an up and down movement. After the VDW Rotate 1504 has reached the working length, irrigate the canal and reconfirm canal patency with an ISO 10C pilot file, for example. Clean and inspect the instrument's cutting flutes throughout the preparation procedure. If deformation is observed, discard the instrument and use a new one. Now use the VDW Rotate 2005 the second instrument in your VDW Rotate basic sequence until the working length is reached. This instrument can also be used in both a pecking and brushing motion. Irrigate the canal and reconfirm canal patency, for example with an ISO 10C pilot file. Determine the final working length using an electronic apex locator. Depending on the canal curvature and size, now choose between the VDW Rotate 2506 for the majority of the cases or the VDW Rotate 2504 for narrow and highly curved canals and prepare the canal until reaching the working length in your preferred technique, a pecking or brushing motion. After reaching the working length with the VDW Rotate 2506 or VDW Rotate 2504, gauge the foramen with an ISO 25 hand file to make sure that the instrument isn't larger than the apical foramen and the canal is ready to be obturated. If the canal anatomy requires further shaping, use larger sizes after reaching the working length with the VDW Rotate 2506 or VDW Rotate 2504. VDW Rotate instruments in larger sizes can also be used in both pecking and brushing motion. If not, once preparation is completed with the VDW Rotate basic sequence, dry the canal with the appropriate VDW Rotate paper points and fill it with a suitable technique for three-dimensional filling using the appropriate VDW Rotate gutta percher points or a warm obturation technique. 
for retreatment with the VDW Rotate, open the canal orifice with a Gates Glidden drill or an ultrasound instrument and remove the root canal filling from the coronal third. Choose the appropriate pre-programmed torque controlled electric motor setting according to the VDW Rotate 2505 retreatment instrument. These settings are already pre-programmed in your VDW Connect drive motor. Now, place the tip of the VDW Rotate 2505 retreatment file on the gutta percha. Start the motor and allow the instrument to rotate. The instrument has a cutting tip so that it should progress easily into the gutta percha without pressure. Meaning no downward pressure is necessary. Gradually remove the root canal filling with circumferential filing movements. Clean and inspect the instrument's cutting flutes throughout the retreatment procedure. If deformation is observed, discard the instrument and use a new one. Use an ISO 8 and afterwards an ISO 10 hand instrument, such as a C pilot file, to prepare the root canal to full working length. Continue the preparation with the VDW Rotate basic sequence using the same procedure as previously described, if needed also with additional apical enlargement. Afterwards, obturate the root canal again. VDW Rotate instruments can also be used with VDW Gold Reciproc and VDW Silver Reciproc motors, or with any motor in which the corresponding motor settings can be made. So, let's take rotary preparation to the next level with VDW Rotate.